Yeah, it's a streamlined process. So we know the CDC and the U.S. Public Health Service, they are starting to screen people who are entering the U.S. here at SeaTac Airport. Now we know a lot of those health officials, they'll identify any sick people coming in from China, and there are a lot of flights arriving at some point today. They'll identify those people, get them treated, and hopefully prevent the spread of the coronavirus here in the U.S. Now federal health services have maintained a quarantine station here at the lower level of the airport since about the 1990s. Now, on any given day, public health doctors and other professionals are keeping their eye out for the sick. But over the last few years, international travel has picked up and the quarantine station has been stretched beyond its limits. And that's about to change thanks to the construction of the new international arrivals facility. The facility that we're building for the CDC is up to their latest standards. It's co-located with the Customs and Border Protection offices um, that are kind of behind that um, curtain. Yeah, in the meantime, here's what the U.S. Public Health Service will be looking for. They're conducting surveys to where people are arriving from, then asking people to self-identify any concerns they have, and then distributing educational materials if people feel symptoms later on. The CDC has already started this process at five airports across the country. SeaTac is now on this expanded list of about 20 airports that are now doing this expanded screening process. Of course, this is all to help prevent the future spread of the coronavirus here in the U.S. For now, we are live at SeaTac Airport this morning. Britt Moore, King 5 News.